My name is Judith Palmer and I am CEO of African Heritage UK Limited. African Heritage is an agency that provides work for practitioners who perform African and Caribbean traditional music and dance. My background is that I was a principal dancer with Ajido Pan-African Dance Ensemble and that experience lasted 10 years. I then went on to teach these forms at university level and at Irie Dance Theatre's diploma course and foundation degree program. So when I get young people come to me, I like to learn about their culture. Um, this is something that inspires me. I also like to preserve those dances, the music, the song, the costume. These are bits of information that I've received over the years from training within Ajido Pan-African Dance Ensemble. So while I was there, we learned several dances from Sub-Saharan Africa, from Nigeria to Ethiopia and Southern Africa. And it was an experience that I'll never forget. It was such a wonderful time. And I would like to share that experience with dancers who are interested in performing, who are interested in learning about these forms. Where I would like to see these forms in, say, between three to five years time, is to have them established in schools, to have a school that is dedicated to learning about these forms or having some connection to universities in Africa that work with these forms so that their authenticity is maintained. There's a group of us actually that are working on developing archival material. So looking at our art forms as they were practiced over 40 years ago and in some cases are still practiced. And I am working towards recording that information and archiving it for future generations to study. We are also developing a performing arts event to acknowledge uh, practitioners who are still practicing and those who have passed away and left a huge legacy for the dance sector here in the UK. And if it wasn't for those people, we wouldn't have knowledge or even experience of these forms and these forms come out of our culture from our ancestors and once you know you've grown up in this country you kind of have been removed somewhat from the source and so having access to that as a resource is very very important to me so my life's work is about preserving these art forms for future generations.